Welcome to today's lesson, our mathematics lesson of course, I'm your teacher, Mr. Ndola Moses. Uh, today we are looking at um, analytic function, that is um, a topic at tertiary and in some other universities which is taught at, um, at, at, at fourth year. So I want us to look at analytic functions. So the first thing I would like us to look at is the definition. What is an analytic function? So we are saying the function, the function f of z is said to be analytic at a point, at a point z0 if it is differentiable in the neighborhood in the neighborhood of z0 so, so we are saying for a function to be um, if a function is differentiable at, at the point z0 then it has to be differentiable as well in the neighborhood of z0 that will mean that uh, the function uh, um, is analytic now I want us to look at um, how we can determine that a function is analytic and therefore we should be able to find the derivatives of our analytic uh, functions so example question number one determine whether the function f of z is equal to z squared is analytic if so find the derivative of, of z a solution so for us to be able to determine whether the function is analytic or not we have to check whether that function sat satisfies the count Riemann uh, uh, equations. We have to check if the function satisfies the count Riemann equations. So our function, let me write our function here, f of z is equal to z squared. Okay, so I'm going to say that z will be equal to x plus i1. So we have the real part and the imaginary part there. That is um, that is uh, um, our z. So we are going to say that um, f of z will be equal to. Now this is z squared. So I'm going to say x plus i y x plus i y. So that we can square our z on the other side. So we're going to have x squared plus i x y we are going to have plus x i y i, is, I times i is i squared and when you're looking at complex numbers i squared is just is equal to negative one so i and i we are going to have i squared which is um, negative y squared so we are going to group the like terms together we say x squared minus y squared plus 2i x y so when you look at this we have uh, the imaginary and also the real part of z so we're going to say x squared minus y squared this is the real part of the function plus i 2x y this is the imaginary part of, um, of the function so we are going to say that our u, this will be our u. So our u equals x squared minus y squared. Then our v, we are going to get the imaginary part of the function. So our v will be equals to 2xy. So we have the two fun we have um, the function z. The function z, which has got uh, the real part and the imaginary part. 
So this is the real part of the function, and this is the imaginary part of the function. So you, you equate the real part of the function to u, and also equate the imaginary part of the function to, to v. So now we have to make we have to check whether these um, these partial these functions, the real part and the imaginary uh, uh, part of the function, we have to check whether they satisfy the couch Riemann equations. So we move to um, the, the, the equations. So according to the couch Riemann equations, we are saying that in the partial derivative of u with respect to x should be equal to the partial derivative of u v with respect to y. Okay? The second one, we are saying the partial derivative of u with respect to y should be equal to the partial derivative of u um, negative v, the partial derivative of v with respect to x, but that is negative. So those are the two equations, the couch Riemann equations, which are supposed to be satisfied for us to say that this uh, function is analytic. So we are going to first, um, we are going to find the partial derivative of u with respect to, to x. So we we'll do this. We are going to say u x. We are going to find. Um, so remember, we said u is equals to um, x squared minus y squared. So the partial derivative of u with respect to x will be equals to two x. Then the partial derivative of u with respect to y will be equals to negative two y. So we are going, when we are differentiating with respect to x, we take this one as a constant. Then here when you are differentiating with respect to y, we are going to take this one as a, as a constant. So let us go on the other side. We are saying we are saying that v is equals to two x y. The partial derivative of v with respect to x will be equals to 2y. The partial derivative of v with respect to y will be equals to 2x. Okay, now we have, let us check if those are um, the two equations here are satisfied. So the first equation, the couch Riemann equation, we are saying ux is equals to vy. So let us replace what is our ux here. Our ux is 2x, which is equals to what is the what is uh, what did you get when we found the partial derivative of v with respect to y? We got 2x. These two are the same, so this equation is satisfied. Let us check the other one. We, we are saying that uh, the partial derivative of u with respect to y should be equal to negative um, the partial derivative of v with respect to x. So what was our partial derivative of u with respect to y? We had negative 2y, which is equal to what was our partial derivative of v with respect to x? It is positive 2y. Now, this we can just say um, over negative 1, over negative 1, so that we put y is equal to negative 2y. So when you look at this equation, which is equal to that, so we are saying 2y, the partial derivative of u with respect to y, so we are saying this one is equal to that which is in line with the equation there. So the two equations, the couch Riemann equations, have been satisfied. So we are saying that uh, this function is analytic. Now that we've known that the function is analytic, then we have to find the derivative here. We have to find uh, the derivative of, of the function, since we know that now it is um, analytic. So we have to find this derivative. So let us find the derivative here. Let us find the derivative here. We have to find the derivative here. Okay, now we are saying the, der the derivative of z okay, is equal to the partial derivative of u with respect to x plus i, the partial derivative of v um, with respect to x. Okay? So this is how you find the derivative of uh, an analytic function. So we are going to replace here, where we have um, the partial derivative of u with respect to x. What did we get? We, we got um, 2x plus the partial derivative of v with respect to x. I mean, yeah, v with respect to 
to x, we got um, 2y. So this is the same as 2x plus i 2y. Now, at this point, you have to factorize. You are going to say 2, then you're going to have x plus i y. Now, when you look at what you have here, remember when we said index z is equal to something? This is our z, so you're going to have 2z. So f prime of z is equal to 2z. So this is the derivative of, of, of this function. So um, under the introduction of calculus, if you want to prove this, under the introduction of calculus, um, our function was f of z is equal to z squared. Now using the power, if you are to differentiate this using the power, we drop the power, this would be what? This would be 2z. So using the power, this would still be 2z, which is the same here. So that is how you find the derivative of analytic function. You first have to check whether it is analytic. Once you find it is analytic, you can go ahead and find the derivative using this formula here. Okay? Um, thank you so very much for watching our video. You can hit the like button and sub uh, subscribe to our YouTube channel for more videos. Thank you.